Hello friends, my name is Chetan Vadadia and today we are going to study about mean, median and mod in detail. So first of all, there are three types of data in which you can find out mean, median and mod. So first of all, you need to study about that data. So let me tell you what are the three type of data. Suppose if I am taking a test of 10 students in a class and the test is of also 10 marks. So if the students are getting different marks and then I can write down directly uh, one student is getting 2, 5, 7, 10 out of 10, one is getting 8, again one is getting 10, 7, 6, 5. My students are intelligent so you they will get more marks only. So and 4. Okay. So these are the marks obtained by 10 students in a class test of 10 marks. So you can see here I had given individual marks of all the students. That's why this type of data is called individual data. But, but if you are having 50 students in the class and the same test of 10 mark is taken, will you be able to write down all the marks and do detailed research on that? No. At that time what we have to do at that time we have to arrange data in a different way and that way is called discrete data let me write down discrete data how we can write down so at that time I will select that how many students are getting 0 mark 1 mark 2 mark 3 mark and so on so let me write down xi means these are the marks out of 10 marks, somebody will get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And students are 50. So I cannot write down like this, but I can write down like this. Now observation. How many students got 0? Only one student got 0. 1 mark, 2 student got 1 mark, 5 student got 2 marks. Okay, then you can say 4 student got 3 marks. Again. 2 student got 4 mark and 7 student got 5 mark, 8 student got 6 mark and so on. The sum will be, you can I don't know exactly but you can say 50 students are there so sum will be 50. So this type of arrangement of data is called discrete data. Here also we need to find out mean, median, mod. Here also we can find out mean, median and mod. Now if, if that test is of 100 marks. 50 student and 100 marks. So what you will do? Then you cannot arrange like this way also. Why? 0 to 100. You cannot take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. At that time, you will make small, small groups and allot marks to them. How? Let me tell you. Again, okay, now group data. So you will get class and frequency. Now class and frequency. So you will make groups of, you can make group of 5 or 10 or 15 or 20. But group should be more than 5 and less than 10. So I think we should take groups of 10, 10. So 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90 and 90 to 100. Now these are the different marks obtained from 100 mark test. Somebody will get 12, 15, 17, 20. So we need to see. Now total 50 students are there. So whatever arrangement some, if one student is getting 5 marks, then you will arrange, put that student in this column. One is getting 7. But if you are getting 10, then here also 10 is there, here also 10. At that time you need to collect in this one. So this way, whenever you will arrange and you will get total 50 students are there. So this type of arrangement is called group data. So three type of data are there. One is individual data, one is discrete data and one is group data. This is for group data. So in all these three different arrangement we need to find out mean, median and mod. So one by one I am going to tell you how to find out mean, median, mod. So now I am going to find out mean from this individual data. So first of all, mean means average. Mean and the short name for mean is x bar. Mean is equals to sum of observation 
डिवाइडेड बाय नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन सम ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन मींस यू नीड टू ऐड ऑल दिस फोर प्लस फाइव प्लस नाइन प्लस सेवन प्लस सिक्स प्लस फोर प्लस फाइव प्लस टू प्लस वन प्लस थ्री एंड यू नीड टू नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स वेर देर टेन स्टूडेंट्स आर देर सो नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन इज टेन सो दिस वे यू कैन फाइंड आउट द मीन दैट इज एवरेज ऑल्सो एंड दिस इज द सिम्बॉलिक फॉर्म ऑफ मीन सम ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन डिवाइड बाई नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन वी आर गोइंग टू एड दिस नाइन प्लस नाइन सॉरी नाइन प्लस नाइन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस सिक्स थर्टी वन थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी फोर्टी टू फोर्टी थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स सो फोर्टी सिक्स बाई टेन विल गिव यू फोर पॉइंट सिक्स सो दिस इज द मीन ऑफ द गिवन इंडिविजुअल डेट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट मीडियन फॉर मीडियन अगेन यू देर आर टू फॉर्मूलाज फॉर मीडियन इन मीडियन फॉर ऑड नंबर ऑल्सो यू आर हैविंग वन डिफरेंट फॉर्मूला एंड फॉर इवन नंबर ऑल्सो वन डिफरेंट फॉर्मूला सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फॉर ऑड नंबर दिस आर एक्चुअली इवन नंबर सो वॉट इज मीडियन एक्चुअली मीडियन मीन्स द मिडल नंबर वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द मिडल नंबर बट फॉर मिडल नंबर वॉट यू नीड टू डू गाइज for middle number first of all you need to arrange the data in ascending order then you need to find out middle number so first of all i am going to arrange this in ascending order let me write down here ascending order that is 1 2 3 this 1 2 3 4 4 4 then 5 5 then you are having 6 then 7 and 9 7 and 9 are we missing any number no we had take also first we need to arrange now we need to find out the middle number here 10 numbers are there 10 so when even numbers are there you will not get a single middle term you will get two middle terms how you can see if i will keep 5 on this side and 5 on this side then you will not get middle term at that time what you need to do you need to do addition of this two number on both the side and then you need to divide by 2 and one formula is also there that also i am going to explain but directly just you need to add this two and divide by 2 so directly i can tell you the median will be 4 plus 5 9 divide by 2 4.5 but how you can solve that with the help of formula for even number the formula is median is equals to n by 2th observation plus n by 2 plus 1th observation whole divided by 2 that is n means the total number how many numbers are there total 10 10 by 2th observation plus 10 by 2 plus 1th observation whole divided by 2 so you will get 10 by 2 fifth observation plus 6 this will be 5 plus 1 so sixth observation divided by 2 now generally what students are doing here they add 5 plus 6 11 by 2 so 5.5 is the answer but that is wrong actually you need to see this is observation th means observation fifth observation is 4 year so you need to write down 4 year sixth observation is 5 year so you need to write down that 4 plus 5 divided by 2 9 divided by 2 and your answer is 4.5 so the median is 4.5 for for even number now for odd number generally in odd numbers you will get directly let me erase okay let me give you some another terms only suppose you are having 2 7 4 5 6 6 6 and 3 how many terms are there you can see seven terms are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so these are odd terms means odd numbers are there so now what to do now at that term one middle term you need to find out so again you need to arrange it in ascending order now ascending order 2 3 then 4 then 5 6 6 and at last 7 now you need to find out the middle number directly i can tell you let me tell you 
थ्री ऑन दिस साइड थ्री ऑन दिस साइड एंड दिस इज योर मिडल टर्म दैट इज मीडियन बट यू नीड टू यूज फॉर्मूला दिस विल बी योर मीडियन बट लेट मी यूज विद द फॉर्मूला फॉर्मूला फॉर मीडियन वेन ऑट टर्म्स आर देयर दैट इज एन प्लस वन बाई टू ऑब्जर्वेशन सो सेवन टर्म्स आर देयर सो सेवन प्लस वन बाई टू ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट इज एट बाई टू Eight by two. That is fourth observation. And what is the fourth observation? Fourth observation is five. So the median of this terms is five. Now for mod. Mod means the highest repeating number. You can see if I want to find out mod in this one, which number is repeated the most time? You can see four is coming two times, and five is also coming. Two times, so highest time four and five both are coming. So you can say both are mod. Mod in this data is four and five also. Sorry, if one number is coming um, many times, suppose if I add one four here. Now these are your data. Now what will happen? Four is coming three times and five is coming only two times. So four is come repeated the most number of time. therefore at that time when i had added 4 here now my mod will be 4 so highest repeated observation is called mod but there is one confusion in india or in cbse whenever you are uh, having terms like this suppose no number is repeated 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 now what is mod in this given individual data can you tell me what will be the mod here no observation is repeated so in cbse they are telling all are mod in cbse they are telling all are mod but if you go in us uk or in few states of india also in state they are telling no mod but in cbse we are taking all are mod so that you need to keep in mind guys okay so mod means the highest repeating observation is called mod so this way we can find out mean median mod for individual data now moving to a discrete data now we are going to find out mean median and mod for discrete data so you can see x i these are the observation and these are the frequency means how many times this observation are occurring now first of all for my finding means what you need to do Actually, two is coming two times, so you can do two plus two. Three is coming seven times, so three plus three plus three plus three plus three seven times. So instead of doing this directly, what you can say, we can take f i x i. Two is coming two times, so two plus two four, and two two z i is also four. Now three is coming seven times, so three plus three plus three plus three seven times, so that will be twenty one. Three seven z twenty one. So directly we can multiply. this is same as what we had done in our previous sum of observation only now 9 4 za 36 12 5 60 8 6 za 48 and 7 2 za 14 as i am told telling you this is same as adding all this observation this is same as that only what we had done in previous that x bar is equals to sum of observation divided by number of observation this is same as that only but now here x bar is equals to sum of or you can say sigma fi xi upon number of observation is called sigma fi this is same this both are guys same only but now we had change a method to write down this okay so let me we had actually added but directly if you will multiply then also you will get now we were doing sum of all this so we are going to do sum of all this 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 6 11 11 plus 8 19 20 23 2 2 carry 2 plus 2 4 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 17 18 1 83 1, 1, 1, 1, and sum of frequency how many total frequencies are there 2 plus 7 9 9 plus 9 18 19 20 30 38 and 2 40 so 40 observations are there so directly sigma fi xi means sum of fi that we are going to write down here and sum of fi that we are going to write down here now you can divide and you will get the answer 4 for the 
फाइव सेवन फाइव सो दिस विल बी द मीन ऑफ द गिवन डेटा नाउ यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट मीडियम फॉर मीडियम वॉट यू नीड टू डू लेट मी वॉट वी वेर डूइंग इन इंडिविजुअल डेटा वी वेर अरेजिंग द डेटा इन एसेंडिंग ऑर्डर हियर हाउ वी कैन अरेज दिस डेटा इन एसेंडिंग ऑर्डर ऑलरेडी दिस बट फ्रीक्वेंसी इज लाइक दिस सो वॉट वी नीड टू डू we need to find out cumulative frequency guys what we need to find out cumulative frequency what is cumulative frequency sum of this frequency 1 by 1 2 is here so 2 2 plus 7 you will get 9 9 plus 9 you will get 18 18 plus 12 you will get 30 30 plus 8 you will get 38 and 38 plus 2 you will get 40 this is called cumulative frequency so this way you can find out cumulative frequency first you need to find out cumulative frequency now you need to select the middle term now what will be the middle term in this directly you will say uh, 3 on this side 3 on so directly this two are middle terms but we cannot do like this on the basis of this frequency we had find out cumulative frequency now with the help of this cumulative frequency we need to find out the middle term how just you need to do n by 2 n by 2 means 40 is your n then 2 40 by 2 is 20 now can you tell tell me where in this cfi 20 will come 20 will come between 80 and 30 here 20 will come so you need to go with the next line or this is called median line but you don't have class so directly whatever term is coming in front of that frequency next frequency that is your median so you can say median of this discrete data is 5 so this way you can find out the median guys now mod for this just you need to see you have to rub this let me just you need to see the highest frequency among this frequency of 5 is 12 this is the highest frequency so number in front front of this is mod so directly you say mod is 5 so this way guys you can find out mean median and mod for discrete data for group data guys i had made separate videos for mean median and mod you can watch this or i will try to make next video on that here we had find out mean median and mod by of individual data and discrete data thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you so much